How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to East One, Ancient East Vanished Omen. Last episode, we began our journey, visited everybody in the town of Barbados, and now we are in the town of Minay, which will serve as the hub for most of our adventure. Before the monsters showed up, we used to always play under the huge tree in the plains, but we can't do that now. The grown-ups won't let us go outside the city walls anymore. I saw Pim pick a ring off the ground the other day. Right after that, he went straight to his store and put it on his shelf. What kind of lowlife would just sell something he finds like that? Mister, are you a swordsman? Well, the fortune teller lady has been looking for a traveling swordsman. Please go and see her. We'll be doing just that. I am Rhea, a poet and troubadour. My priceless silver harmonica has been stolen, and I don't know what to do. I value it nearly as much as my own life. up on the walls, but you can see Darm Tower in the distance. On the other side of the Northern Pass, there's a huge bowl-shaped crater known as Bagu Badad. Seems to be where the thieves are coming from. Guess they make their hideout there. My big brother was a miner, but he got attacked by a monster in one of the tunnels and barely made it out alive. He tried to fight back using his pickaxe, but it didn't work too well. Stand aside, please. There are patients to be seen. Me, I'm Dr. Klaus. What's happening, Doctor? Something must have happened. I already talked to you. Yes, we've already talked to you. Not long ago, I saw a stranger in town wearing a black cape with a real peculiar pale blue glow to it. Maybe I was just seeing things. I don't know. But it still gave me the shivers either way. Still, he made it, and that's what really counts, right? My mother and grandfather say they want to go back to their old home, and they look so sad about it. We used to live in Raston Village, until the monsters raised it to the ground anyway. The bats that come out from the mine at twilight aren't normal. They ferociously attack both humans and livestock. They were the primary culprits in the destruction of Raston. You know that harmonica playing poet girl who hangs around on the ramparts? She's real purdy, and that song of hers is also real purdy. It's mesmerizing. Haven't heard it in a while, though. Glug, 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 glug. Ah. Man, this is good stuff. I used to work in the silver mine, but six months ago the tunnels were overrun by monsters. It's all because of those damn, doomed, dimmed, dumbed monsters that I got. I got nothing to do but drink up and out. Welcome! Oh my, a stranger! Don't worry, traveler. The city of Manet is a safe haven from the monsters. You have nothing to worry about here. I'm Asteria's foremost tour guide. Or at least I used to be. That blasted storm wall and all the monsters have driven me right out of business. There was once an odd old man who wanted to tour the mountain ruins. This was before the storm wall. 
He seemed to be a scholar and said he planned on investigating Darm Tower. I hope he's okay. Have you visited the fortune teller's house? She may be young, but she's good. If you're ever in need of advice or guidance, she can always set you on the right path. Ah, a new face! From whence did you come, sir? Barbado, you say? You're the lad who crossed the storm wall then. I heard about you from members of the Barbado militia when they came here on their rounds. Sorry if I sounded a bit suspicious when I asked where you were from. Lately, there have been a lot of break-ins, so I thought maybe you were casing my establishment. My name's Garrick. I've been hired by the city to track down those dirty thieves. Will you have a drink with me? Sure. Ain't learned much about the crooks, but I did find that, that long ago there were rota trees in hysteria. Never heard of a rota tree before? Its seeds are said to be one of the finest delicacies in the world. I'd love to taste one just once before I die. Don't suppose you've come across any, have you? Would you hear out a humble patron of this fine watering hole? Sure. Somewhere in this general area, I lost a beautiful sapphire wing, ring I'd purchased as a gift for my wife. Without it, I feel as if I can't even face her. Damnable thieves! I'll wager this is their doing. Well, we already know where that ring led that up. Have you seen a one-eyed man around? His name is Donis. Damned fool. He's down and out right now, so he's been neglecting his work. And he's run off somewhere to boot. Sarah has been acting rather odd lately. She's been going on and about on about the world coming to an end. Oh ho ho! Something you need? Hmm, red hair is rare around here. You're not from around these parts, are you? I'm from the mainland myself, but I got trapped on this lousy island by the storm wall. I think I can cut you a good deal, since you're a fellow foreigner. Ah, the sapphire ring. Wouldn't this sapphire be great to give to your girlfriend? I bet she'd be thrilled. That'll be a thousand gold. Well, that's all we have, but... Let's do a good turn. We can always make more. already went here, right? No. My father is the mayor of Zepic Village to the north. Lately, he's been a little preoccupied with something, though. The last time I saw him, he was all like, the villagers mustn't hear of this. Please, if you go to Zepic Village, would you talk to him for me? You must not go to the mine. The monsters there are extremely powerful. You'll be killed for certain. It's fortunate for us that they never venture outside. Where it is, they can't stand daylight. You found my ring at the pawn shop. You brought it back. Thank you so much. Now I can actually face my wife again. I can't offer you much in return, but... You have no idea what this means to me, so please, take this. Well, our good term paid off. We received more money back than we paid for the road. Let's continue our exploration of the town. We've been here. Hello, how may I help you? It's been quite busy in here ever since the monsters started showing up. People are always getting hurt. Dr. Klaus went to make a house call at Zepic Village, since they have no medical facility or staff there. Take care of yourself. Almost forgot to talk to everybody here. Where did I get hurt, you ask? In my own home, that's where I was attacked. He hit me from behind, so I didn't see his face. But I'll bet anything it was one of those damned thieves. 
and he stole the silver shield that's been in my family for countless generations. I had it tucked away in a corner of my old storeroom. Probably wasn't worth much, but even so, it's the idea. Oh. Save me. This is no puppy. It's a rebel. He must be having a ah! good nap. And I keep accidentally talking to him over and over again. The wild dogs out in the field are called rebels. They're extremely fast, so take heed around them. I got surrounded by a whole herd of them, which is how I came to be in this state. I managed to slip away and run to the big tree in the field. For some reason, the rebels turned back at that point. As a result, I'm still alive, and not too much worse for the wind. But I do wonder what it was that drove them away. The Blickers. You must double down. So we definitely got some sleepers. Let's continue our exploration of the town. On a day like this, when the weather is good, you can see Darm Tower clear as anything from the town's ramparts. It's amazing that our ancestors were able to build a tower that stretches up beyond the clouds. Ever since the silver mine on the mountain was closed, the cost of everything has risen so dramatically. Still, it's not like we could actually sell any of our silver goods, what with the storm wall and all. When the monsters started attacking, a lot of people moved here from Raston and Barbado Port. And yeah, Manet's protected by walls. But we can't just shut ourselves away in here. We've got to fight back. Manet has an ancient history. Supposedly, its walls were built a very long time ago. It's like a miracle that people back then could build huge stone ramparts like these. We're very fortunate to have Dr. Klaus in this our city. His potions really hit the spot. Anytime there's an emergency, he's always there in a flash. He's a true hero to us all. I saw this really sculpted, scrumptious looking man the other day. Real debonair, too, with his black cape. But when he looked at me, I swear I was scared out of my mind. His eyes were almost human. My grandpa often tells me Asterian fairy tales. My favorite one is the one about the silver sword used to defeat the army of monsters a long time ago. Well, let's see here. We talked to these two, right? Since the monsters started showing up, all the children are prohibited from leaving the city. They look like they've grown tired of being cooped up here, but what else can we do? It's for their own safety. My mother lives by herself in Barbado. I keep trying to tell her to move in with me since it's so much safer inside the city walls. But she won't listen. Okay, so we hadn't been to these two houses yet. The path around the town walls is pretty narrow. Transporting silver to Barbado Port was a pain even before the storm wall as a result. We've considered erecting a south gate, but we don't want to compromise the wall structure, you know? I believe... He's the one who talks about Sarah. And... That dumbass has disappeared again, all because he lost some ring he wanted to give to his wife. Okay, so I believe we've gotten everybody. Oh my, it's... You! You are not from Asteria, correct? Did you come here by crossing the storm wall? Goddesses, thank you. I've waited so long for this day. You are the one whom I've been seeking. Please, 
Get your equipment in order and return here at once. I must beg a favor of you. Well, with our money we got, we should be able to afford a sword, a uh, shield, and a suit of armor. Ah, welcome! Offense is a great luxury, but defense is an absolute necessity. As such, proper armor is vital. They say the best defense is a good offense, but if the situation gets ugly, offense won't matter one whit. Which armor would you like? It's made of knitted chain, easy to move around in, and well ventilated so as not to slow cook its wearer. How does 400 gold sound? Thank you. Use it well. The small shield is made of reinforced wood. It's light and easy to use. How does 700 gold sound? Thank you. Use it well. Come again. So let's go ahead. Equip our shield and armor. And let's go ahead and talk to the weaponsmith really quick. Ah, welcome. I've got some very good swords here. The same kinds the militia members use. But I've also got even better swords for real combat. Why not take a peek? The longsword is well suited to combat, befitting a true swordsman. Its workmanship is top class. How does 2,000 gold sound? We don't have it quite yet. Come again! Swordsman, thank you for returning. Tell me, are you familiar with the Books of Ys? Ys was the name of an ancient kingdom that existed here ages ago. The lost history of the land is written within the Books of Ys. It is unknown, however, who actually inscribed their words. But the six books detail the reason for Ys's fall from grace. My crystal ball tells me that one of the books is in the mountain shrine. Swordsman, will you seek the books? Yes, I will. You will? Ah, Swordsman, you are truly the man I've been seeking. Thank you so very, very much. Please, take this with you. It will show you the way within the shrine. First, please visit Jiba in the village of Zepik. She's my aunt. She knows a great deal about the history of Ys. I am certain she will be of aid to you. Zepik village is to the northeast, just outside Mine. You'll pass through it on the way to the shrine. And with that, our quest to recover the books of Ys has been begun. And also, beginning talking to her has leveled us up. We are now level two. So we are going to wrap this second episode up here, and next episode we will set out into the wild and make way for Zepic Village. Once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and favorite. Throw any feedback you might have into the, into the comments below. I always look forward to hearing from you, and we'll talk to you again next time. <laughs>